The Trump administration has officially made a move to ban e-cigarettes in the United States. This news comes just days after six people have died in the states from a mysterious lung disease linked to vaping. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We keep you informed and up to date on some of the biggest viral news stories we find on the internet. I'm Charlotte Del Rey. Subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload and follow the Inform Overload team on social media so we can connect outside of YouTube. Well, it looks like you're not going to be able to purchase e-cigarettes in the United States because the Trump administration is trying to ban them completely, other than the ones that are tobacco flavored and nobody likes those. Michigan state has already banned the sales of most flavored e-cigarettes and so has the city of San Francisco. And now it seems like the whole country is soon to follow. Trump said in a statement on Wednesday, a lot of people think vaping is wonderful is great. It's really not. We have to find out the extent of the problems. It's so new, but we're going to find out. Alex Azar, Health and Human Services Secretary, as well as Acting Commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, announced that a newly proposed enforcement policy would require flavored e-cigarette companies to take their products off the market. Azar said, I quote, it will take several weeks for us to put out the final guidance that will announce all the parameters around the enforcement policy, and then there will likely be about a 30 days delay to effective date as it's customary. But at that point, all flavored e-cigarettes other than tobacco flavor would have to be removed from the market. By May 20th of next year, all e-cigarette companies making tobacco flavored e-cigarettes will get the chance to file for approval by the FDA. Flavored product manufacturers will also be able to file for approval, but their products won't be on the market until they're approved. So over the last several weeks, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as well as the FDA have been investigating an outbreak of a mysterious lung disease caused by vaping. It has affected hundreds and killed six people so far, but health officials don't know exactly what's causing the outbreak. Break. And there's also no clear connection between the cases, other than the fact that they might be caused by THC in vapes or street bought vapes. If you guys want more info on that, check out the link that's clickable on your screen right now. But basically, as a result of this mysterious lung disease, the FDA has urged people to stop vaping completely until they can figure out what's causing it. It looks like the Trump administration is using this as somewhat of a scapegoat to ban e-cigarettes, especially among children. Melania Trump was quoted saying earlier this week, I am deeply concerned about the growing epidemic of e-cigarette use in our children. We need to do all we can to protect the public from tobacco related disease and death and prevent e-cigarettes from becoming an on ramp to nicotine addiction for a generation of youth. So I'm just going to come out and say this, most of the people who have gotten sick from the vaping related disease are over 18 years old, but there's still a lot of people who are underage users. About 20% of high school students reported using e-cigarettes in 2018 and that number grew from 11% in 2017. E-cigarettes are attractive to young people because of their flavors, which basically tastes like candy. That's one of the reasons why they have such a bad rep. It was only a matter of time before there was a crackdown on flavored e-cigarettes. But I'm just going to come out and say what everybody's thinking. What about all the people that die from smoking cigarettes? <laughs> is that not a problem? What about all the people who die from school shootings? Is that not a problem? Why isn't the Trump administration banning cigarettes? Why isn't the Trump administration banning guns? I feel like a lot more people die from guns and regular cigarettes than they do from vapes. But anyways. That's just my opinion. The American Vaping Association said that it's disappointed in the president's decision, saying a ban will remove life changing options from the market that have been used by several million American adults to quit smoking. What do you guys think? Should vaping be banned? Let me know in those comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment features from our video. Six people have now passed away from vaping. Batman Fan Forever said, Do you know what is an excellent thing to put in your lungs? Air. Really? I've never breathed this so cold air. What is that? Carbon said, no way, vaping causing lung disease, it's almost like putting foreign chemicals into your lungs is a bad thing, says the person that probably lives in a city and inhales like <laughs> toxins in the air. <laughs> Haley Jones said, I used to smoke e-cigs and vape, but I kicked the habit about a year and a half ago, glad I did. Well, good for you, that's actually great. Quitting vaping is really hard. I feel like it's almost harder than quitting actual smoking because it just it tastes so good. That is it for me and thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching, check out this playlist over here and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm going to see you in a future IO video.